Hi guys. Okay, so I wanted to make um, a video diary for each week that I complete my Whole30 because I really wanted to hold myself accountable and a lot of people have been asking me questions about it so I figured I might as well just be candid and open up um, and talk about what I've been eating and also what's been going through here, what's been going through here, and what's been going through here. <laughs> that might be TMI but honestly when it comes to eating it affects everything if you know what I'm saying so I figured I'm just gonna be really blunt and I'll make a video diary once a week and just tell you guys what my week has been like so I just completed my first week of Whole30 um, I'm super proud of myself because I get really tempted very easily by dairy and bread things um, and that did not happen to me this week um, so my meals consisted of dinners being mainly um, I had like a I roasted tilapia with tarragon on it and then I did um, some roasted vegetables like um, tomato, garlic, zucchini and I also covered that in olive oil and tarragon and I kind of ate that on top of the fish. That was a really good light dinner and I ate that as a breakfast too. Um, I also took, um, I made a stew where I literally just took everything in my fridge and threw it in a pot and hoped it tasted good and it actually tasted great. I used turkey, ground turkey, um, kale mushrooms, zucchini, diced tomatoes, um, onions, garlic, and then a bunch of spices like oregano, paprika, chili powder, cumin, cayenne pepper. Um, that turned out great and that lasted me for quite a few dinners. Um, and I also, I love a good meat sale, guys. So at the grocery store, um, I found some pre-marinated chicken breasts in um, like a lemon and herb and then also a Mediterranean style. And I always, always, before I started Whole30, have kept those um, in my freezer as an emergency meal. And that turned out great because um, I wasn't too busy last week. I purposely made my evenings fairly open so that I could focus on just like cooking my meals, getting enough sleep at night and um, the one night that I was busy I was able to run home quick cook that chicken breast cook up some um, wilted kale salad with mushrooms olive oil garlic and it was really good and it was like a great dinner and it kept me from um, ordering drinks and snacks at the comedy show that I went to and I still had a good time um, so my meals went really well um, I am feeling good uh, I was a little tired this week but that's acceptable. I, I kind of saw that coming. Um, I even went to brunch on Saturday and I did a really good job of resisting temptation. I ordered a shrimp and lobster frittata. And um, my stomach has been feeling great. I've been regular, which is always exciting. I'm sure you all were really concerned about my bowel movements. But on top of that, um, I haven't been going as much as I thought I would be but I've also read that, that is normal and I trust that it's my body just working things out. Again, this is pretty gross and I'm really happy if you're still listening to this. Um, the last thing I wanna say is that my skin cleared up really quickly. Um, I'll be anxious to see how it looks over the next three weeks because that time of the month always screws me up right along here. Um, but so far, so good. This week I am a little anxious because on Sunday when I went grocery shopping, I went a little recipe happy and I bought a lot of stuff. And I planned um, a recipe every single night for dinner, but um, they're pretty cooking heavy. So it's gonna require a little extra time for me in the kitchen this week. So I'm just hoping that I don't overwhelm myself and that um, I continue to, stick, continue to stick to the plan and uh, right now I'm feeling really optimistic and I think that right now I can see myself seeing this through all the way to infinity. I feel like there is no time limit on the whole 30 for me. I feel really optimistic about it. However, I will admit on Friday and Saturday, just like the whole 30 cookbook predicts where days four and five are really hard and you want to kill all the things, that truly happened to me. Um, I was thinking nothing but food and no matter what I ate uh, I was still thinking I was hungry I don't know if I actually was but all I could think about was food so um, you know at work there were donuts and they were I could feel them I could feel the donuts staring at me <laughs> and um, when I went to brunch my friend got breakfast potatoes um, which you know white potatoes are fine with Whole30 but they're probably not prepared very well in a restaurant so I didn't even want to go there 
Um, and I just, I couldn't stop obsessing over every billboard I saw that was McDonald's and every pizza slice that I saw on the commercials. I mean, it was really, really getting to me. But Sunday morning I woke up and that was all gone. So I feel like I'm slaying that sugar dragon. I feel really good, really optimistic. And today, um, I feel like I could be doing this for the long haul. So that is my week one of Whole30. I will be posting on Twitter and Instagram um, throughout my Whole30 what I'm eating, what my favorite meals are, um, and uh, also on my blog, BlondeSided.com, I will be posting favorite recipes from there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks for all your support. And if you have any questions or comments about Whole30 or Paleo or life in general, uh, you know where to get at me on Twitter at the Kylie Hodges or Instagram just at Kylie Hodges. Okay. Bye guys